I'm convinced. We're currently living in a Tom Clancy novel, except all the characters are autistic. It's really the only way I can explain the stupidity I've seen over the last 24 hours on Twitter. Namely, from John Schindler. Now we go nuclear. IC war going to new levels. Just got an EM from senior IC friend. It began with, he will die in jail. Now, IC stands for intelligence community, for those of you unfamiliar with the lingo. The lingo John would be well familiar with because he worked in the intelligence community for over a decade at the NSA. In fact, his code name was Fat Fuck in a Hot Tub. Schindler is a master at many things. Aside from creating lists, he likes to send his genitalia to complete random strangers on Twitter. I guess they never covered that in the manual. Might want to put a little addendum in the back. And I do mean little. John, I do mean little. Now, the he that John is referring to in his tweet is Donald Trump. Donald's been tweeting about this the last couple of days. He's put out a few public statements about leaks from the intelligence community. And what John is basically saying here, whether he intended it or not, he's saying that somebody currently in the intelligence community, a senior in the intelligence community, is leaking information to him, a former disgraced agent. That really gets the old noggin joggin. Activates those almonds, if you know what I mean. Now, it gets even more interesting when you read some of his other tweets. What happens when Trumpers realize that the deep state is heavily comprised of the U.S. military, you know, the sainted wearers of the uniform? The deep state he's referring to are oligarchs. They've also been called the shadow government. They're unelected officials that hold a vast amount of power and make decisions behind the scenes. He's been hinting at the deep state. The intelligence community would be a part of that. The military would be a part of that. In fact, The Atlantic covered this today. Are deep state leakers defending democracy or corroding it? Now, you really need to take a step back and really carefully look at what is being openly discussed by both people in the intelligence community and by the press. They're not alluding to the deep state. They are talking about it. That is that is awe-inspiring. We are in a whole new fucking bear dimension. We have zoomed past Berenstein and Berenstain. We are now in the Blitzkrieg bear dimension. I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. Interesting. Deep state friend, Lieutenant Colonel Retired, told me on 11-11, a presidential elector, not to worry about Donald J. Trump less than a year they knew. That's right, folks. A Colorado presidential elector was talking to somebody in the military-industrial complex, a person involved or formerly involved in the deep state, who assured him, don't worry about Donald Trump, we're going to take care of him in less than a year. He's responding to a comment coming from a former NSA agent that's saying the intelligence community is feeding him information saying they're going to take out Trump. They're going to deal with him. He's going to die in jail. And it's not just one or two individuals that are hinting or even talking about this. You can look at somebody like Salter Damas. Here's good old Bill Crystal, the guy who never gets fucking anything right. Obviously, strongly prefer normal democratic and constitutional politics. But if it comes to it, prefer deep state to the Trump state. You remember Bill, don't you? He's the one who went to that secret retreat with all the billionaires and GOP-connected individuals to talk about how to take out Donald Trump. And here he is praising the deep state. Really, really makes you think. Good old Evan. By oath, intelligence officials' first duty is to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You remember McMuffin, don't you? He was the former CIA operative who ran for president. God, that's, that's another weird coincidence, isn't it? NSA, CIA, electors, all talking about deep state. Bill Crystal connected to all these people in the GOP talking about deep state. Really gets those fucking gears a-grindin'. So I guess we're left with some key questions here. Really, when you look at the entirety of it, you have a group of people who are talking about those involved in the intelligence community that are feeding them information. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. It could be completely fictitious. But if I were the NSA and I had a former employee openly state on Twitter that currently employed people, whether they're in the NSA or some other branch of the intelligence community, is feeding them information, and that that information might actually be a threat against the sitting president of the United States, I would drop a fucking hammer on his ass. Next, you have a group of individuals like Crystal and McMullen and others who are openly praising this notion of the deep state, of a coup d'etat happening within the government. They like the idea of the intelligence community or those sitting in the military overthrowing the president. But I bet you not one of them, not one of them would back up Edward Snowden. Because it's all good if it's their butt buddies in the intelligence community doing it. But if it's a guy who's standing up for the normal average citizen, fuck him, he needs to be thrown in jail. He needs to die in the goddamn gutter. As far as that elector, I don't even know what the fuck is going on there. Why are people who are former military talking about ousting a president? Why are they being referred to as deep state? Who exactly is that person? Why is he giving them that information? How many other electors might have talked to people like that? Why the fuck are people in the intelligence community or in the military telling presidential electors these things? And it makes you wonder just how much more of this is out there. I found this just casually looking, but apparently it's, it's not that difficult. Apparently being a spook means you just never shut the fuck up. And if I look through your Twitter account, I'm going to find all this shit. It's really quite amazing, I'll be honest. It makes me want to go dig through more of it, because how much more is out there? How many people connected to the intelligence community, to the government, to the military, keep running their fucking mouths like this? What, what kind of a story could you put together if you really did the research? If you started looking through their accounts, who they follow and interact with? You might be able to uncover all sorts of shit. It's a sad statement about how the intelligence community conducts itself. 
how former agents conduct themselves. They make themselves look bad. They make their former agencies look bad. And it makes it just look like a shit show from beginning to end. What a goddamn embarrassment.